Hi, my name is Sai and welcome to Momentum. To learn more about artists' relationship with the natural world, we interviewed Rachel Knudsen about her Creative Reuse studio on Bainbridge Island. Come along as we discover Scrappy Art Lab. Hi Rachel, thanks for having us. So we're at Scrappy Art Lab. Tell us what you do here. We are a Creative Reuse studio, so we're taking donations from the community and turning it back around for Creative Reuse projects. How does your work comment on current social and environmental issues? I think the main environmental piece is that we're just trying to uh, reuse as much as possible. Especially with the kids, I think it's important you can't start too young to get them thinking about resources, conservation, how to use things efficiently, and they're going out into industries where they can actually make an impact. How did you start the Art Lab? So the Art Lab started almost 20 years ago. When my kids were small, this is the kind of place I really would have wanted to come to. And over the years, I've worked with parent groups, school groups, doing camps, uh, various things that just got me thinking. There needs to be, you know, a center where people can come in and really do this. Where do you find the materials you use in your art lab? I find materials as they walk in the door. It's really great to see people getting so engaged with that. It sort of brings the character of the island into the shop also, just yeah. to see what people locally do. And it, it's sort of a reflection of, of what happens here. How do you encourage the people around us, like in our community and our audience, um, to get more conscious about the environment? And mm. what are some ways to do that through art? Mm. I think a really good way is to um, to dive in and like use your hands and and make some discoveries with uh, really the materials that you have all around. Yeah. And I think as you are using things, you're getting familiar with the things that you have your resources that you have right here, like at home. Um, so I think if you're thinking more locally and figuring out who's here and what people are doing right here and just like diving in whenever you can, I yeah. think that's a great way to connect again with, um, with environmentalism mm -hmm. and become an activist just in doing that. The work you do here empowers the youth through the lessons you teach them. How do you think they'll take these lessons forward in their lifetime? I think the kids are pretty inspired when they're working here and I think they're becoming more confident in their making and in their building and even in you know the idea of making less of an impact as humans you know on the planet and 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 really we talk a lot about just staying positive and treating people well and treating the, you know treating the environment and nature well i think the kids are learning um some confidence around just their own experimentation and their own self-expression um and what it means to really work together uh, we do a lot of collaborating, and so, you know, they come to the table with some other minds, you know, and they're problem solving, and they're working out mistakes, you know, and they're working through mistakes, and, um, and learning something about conservation all along. Thank you for having us. Make sure to keep us posted. Thanks so much for your visit. That was fantastic. <laughs> Thanks for watching. To learn more about Scrappy Art Lab, visit scrappyartlab.com or find them on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time as we discover more about art here in the Puget Sound region.